Setup. For your loadout, I recommend you use the knife as your weapon and the aether shroud as the field upgrade. The knife is a kill until round 15. I recommend the gala wall buy as well for later rounds and taking care of the boss and the wonder weapon for the easter egg. For perks, well, because all perks are obtainable, I would prioritize Jug for health and Quick Revive for faster health regeneration. Power. To turn on power, open the map and follow the objective markers. I recommend opening the right door of the starting room because both Jug and Gallo are on that path. Open your way through the map, following the objective markers, turn on power by pressing this button. Pack-a-Punch. Once power is turned on, go to these two switches and interact with the anomaly in the center. This will put you into Dark Aether mode. Look for an objective marker and use the fast travel. When you fast travel, you will open a small room. In the corner of this room is a part. Pick it up and run over to where you enter the anomaly and place the part, this will kick you out of dark aether mode and pack-a-punch is open. Die! The wonder weapon can be obtained through yellow reward challenges, the mystery box, or by doing this short quest. When you get a megaton, make it split in two, and once you kill the second small one, it will drop a key card. Pick up the key card and go to the dead shot room. In this corner next to the mystery box is a computer, interact with it and a remote control will appear in the drawer. Pick it up and run to the first floor of Noct. On this side of the wall is an opening with blue light. Interact with it to start up the die trap. It's a free trap, so run zombies through the area and let them get sucked up. Once it is full, interact with it again and it will open the door and the die will be inside. Aether Scope. To get the Aether Scope, you need to access Dark Aether Mode via an anomaly. Once in Dark Aether Mode, the parts spawn one at a time, so you may need to check each spot multiple times. The locations are in the spawn room under the stairs, up here on the plane, and at the bottom of these stairs in the Pack Punch room. Build the Aether Scope at this crafting bench next to Pack Punch. Die Upgrades. At this point, you can complete the first two die upgrades. Come to the top floor of Noct and shoot this box near the Wonder Fizz, and then suck this canister with the gold outline and pick it up. Go to the Deadshot room and place the canister in this corner. Get a dog and kill it near the canister and it will suck up gas. Pick up the canister and come to the crash site and on this wall there is a box. Place the canister and then shoot or melee the canister. It will blow up the canister and the upgrade will be available. Now for the cryo upgrade, if you shot the box on top of Noct, there will be a flask sitting near this wall. Get a megaton to use a range attack on this fungus on the tree in the pond area. If done correctly, it will glow purple. Place the flask on the floor and then wait about 30-45 seconds and then the vial will be full. Pick it up and head down to the speed cola room, interact with this box, and the cryo upgrade will be available. Anomaly. You can progress through the egg. Make sure you have the aether scope acquired on your minimap. Enter this portal in the speed cola room and pick up this keypad next to this computer and then interact with this orb in the corner. Watch out as a megaton will spawn in. If you are on solo, as long as you just stay near the ghost, nothing will target you. Make sure you give the ghost a keypad to begin the quotes. You must interact with two more ghosts. The second one is on the right side of the challenge room, and the third one is in front of the craftable bench near Pack Punch. Once the third ghost is done talking and you are out of dark aether mode, come to this computer in the speed cola room and interact with it. More die upgrades. Once you have completed this step, more die upgrades will become available. For the fire upgrade, enter the dark aether through the portal in the pond area and then run over to the crash site. Near one of these fast travels should be a box on the ground. Melee it to open the box and then pick up the part. Then head down to the Deadshot room and there should be a laser cutter in this corner. Interact with it and then run up to the pond and on this truck bed will be the box and inside is your fire upgrade. For the electric upgrade, enter the Dark Aether through the portal underneath Pack Punch. There will be three energy crystals around the map. You need to suck them with your die to absorb its energy. Then run down to the crate below Pack Punch and then shoot the box with your absorbed shot. The crystal locations are right before the tunnel in the crash site, on this side of the pond opposite a Quick Revive, and the top floor of Noct near the Wonder Fizz. Once you shot all three charges at the box, the upgrade will be available. Now with each of the Wonder Weapon upgrades, shoot the rods on the bottom of the canisters. One rod per die upgrade. To tell which arm corresponds with which die upgrade, the bottom of the arms are faintly colored. Once all the arms are up, an anomaly will spawn in this hallway, 
Enter it and up on the catwalk will be another orb, interact with it and hear some dialogue. Once the dialogue finishes and you are out of dark aether mode, pick up the wrench right where the ghosts were. Tank step. Make sure you have the wrench and then head to the spawn room and interact with this tank three times. Kill the zombie that appears out of the hatch and then throw an explosive at the hatch. This will cause the tank to fire, then run over to the crash site and pick up this ball. Carry it down to the speed cola room and place it in the box glowing red. Once that is done, get a megaton and then split it in two. Make sure the small megatons are from the same main guy. Take them over to the speed cola room and wait for both of them to get sucked up into the machine. Interact with the computer and you will hear some quotes. Be careful as when the quotes end, a ton of enemies will spawn. Next, head up to Noct and then enter Dark Aether Mode through this portal. Come to this corner and interact with the Wisp. Final setup. When the quotes are done and you exit Dark Aether Mode, a photo will spawn in on the corner where the ghost was. Interacting with this photo will send all players to the boss fight. So if you aren't ready, I recommend doing this side quest to get a good chance at a ray gun or just a good gun in general. Shoot five orbs around the Pack-a-Punch room. The orbs are located behind this chair on the left catwalk from Power. Walk down the stairs towards Pack-a-Punch and it's up in this great area. Make sure you crouch to shoot this one. On this pipe near the ceiling on the dead shot side of the room, below Pack-a-Punch in the top left side of this zombie barrier, and then behind these pipes near the armor station. Shooting all five will teleport you and then an animation will play. A crate will drop and then it will get you some really good loot. This has a good chance of getting the ray gun. Boss fight. The boss fight is simple. I recommend all players have a die upgrade. If you are in solo, I recommend the electric or acid, either the gallo or the ray gun if you have it, some monkey bombs. You need to protect the guy. He does not have a health bar, so you can take your time. You just need to keep zombies off of him for the fight to progress. Take your time, train in a circle on the top floor. The guy's progress bar is underneath the minimap. Once he is done with three computers, a final exfil will begin. Be careful, the light beams will kill you. Your goal is to navigate to the surface. The path I take is from elemental pop, hug the right side of the wall past the beams, then run up to spawn, take the right side of the door, up the stairs, through stamina up, through the jug area, past the plane wing, into the pond area. You do not need to kill anything, just get to the chopper. Run through the pond area and board the helicopter and you have completed the D-Machina Easter Egg.